Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a highly requested one. It is the best skincare that I've tried out. These are my holy grail skincare products, ones that I'm using every single day that I've used for consistently months on end, some of them even years on end. These are ones that I really do find to make a difference, whether it be making my skin look more clear, making it more look more radiant, glowy, whatever it is, I have a bunch of recommendations ready to go for you guys. I will preface this video by saying I do have drier skin, so a a lot of the products that I'm going to be talking about are more geared towards people who do have drier skin. However, I do have some products mixed in here that I think will work for a variety of different skin types. So if you do have a skin type other than drier skin, I still think that this video will be beneficial for you to watch. I do have a lot of um, like pimple type remedy stuff in here, so just stay tuned for that. If you guys are new here, please make sure to subscribe before you go, click that little red button, you know what it looks like, and the notification bell right beside that so that you will be notified for all of my future posts and videos. I would love to have you guys as a part of the family if you are not already. And if you would like to check out more of my social medias, I will have all of those linked in the description box down below if you want to check them out. Enough self promo from me, let's get on in to what you came for. So the first product is one I think a lot of people can benefit from using. It really does not matter what skin type you have. And, you know, I'm definitely a makeup wipe girl. I'll use a makeup removing, you know, just a bottle or something. I'll use the makeup removing balms or cleansers or whatever. However, I'm a makeup wipe girl. And when I use makeup wipes, I really do prefer Neutrogena compared to anyone else. I like their blue wipes. I like their, like, teal ones. Um, but I like these purple ones the best. These are the Neutrogena Makeup Removing Night Calming Wipes. So here's what they look like. And honestly, there's not much of a price difference if you compare the Neutrogena ones to pretty much any other brand. There are some that are a little bit cheaper. However, I find that I'm able to just use one of these. It feels really good on my face, and it will get rid of pretty much anything I have. You know, it gets off all of the makeup. Like, you see, I'm wearing kind of a lot of makeup right now. Full coverage foundation, a lot of mascara, eyeshadow, lipstick, the full, you know, nine yards. And this will get it off in just one wipe, pretty much, like, in three-fourths of the wipe like I will still have a little bit of white leftover that I haven't used and I don't save them just because I don't know I don't save them but honestly you guys these are really really good they feel great I like to wash off the residue as I do with any other makeup wipe it really does not matter I like to just get at least some water to get off that residue I just don't like the way it feels I don't think a lot of people have problems with it but that's just me they smell pretty good it's not very strong and honestly if you guys are just looking for a good makeup wipe you haven't tried this specific one out I really recommend it even if you've already tried the blue original Neutrogena wipes because I do find that these feel just a little bit better and I really enjoy them. Every night after I remove my makeup with my makeup wipes, I like to use the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. It's actually interesting because right now I have the normal to oily skin version. And the reason for that is for a while, especially around the holiday season, I was just breaking out. And I didn't know really how to combat that excess oil that I was producing. And this is what I found really helped with that. I do want to switch back to the one for normal to dry skin though. Because I just find that that's my skin type. And I think that will work best. I think I'm getting a little dry because of this now. However, if you have oily skin or even just normal skin that's not too dry, you'll really like this. And I mean, I think that, you know, they work kind of similar in what they do, the normal to dry and the normal to oily skin. I think that they both do a really great job at removing any excess dirt or oil you have because makeup wipes are great. They will take off your makeup, but they don't remove absolutely everything. And I find that using a really good cleanser is so great for when I wake up in the morning and go to do my makeup. I just find that having that really nice clean canvas does a great job for my makeup and the way that everything applies. And it just feels really good. Like, after I wash this off, I feel like my face is just so smooth. It just feels amazing. And so I really do like these. Like I said, I'm probably going to switch mine out soon. So I think it kind of just goes to your preference, what your skin type is. But really, really good stuff from Cetaphil. So this next product I use in between my makeup wipes and then I use it in between the cleanser. So it's something I use in between every other night. I don't use it every single night just because, you know, I don't want to exfoliate my skin that much, especially with my dry skin. This is the Bosha Exfoliating Peel Gel. Here's what it looks like. This product is really, really good. This is actually my second one. They last a really long while too. And if you have sensitive skin, I think you'll really like this as an exfoliator because even if you have sensitive skin, you do need to be exfoliated. And this is a very, very gentle exfoliator. They're, you know, the exfoliating properties in it are not very intense. They're very, very light. And the way that this works is it's like a little squeezy tube. I like to wet my face before I use it. So it's nice because 
what you do is you do like a little squirt of it on your hand or you can apply it directly to your face and you just rub it and it's like a jelly consistency it's really really nice and it just kind of like the reason it's called a peeling gel like you're not like physically peeling it like a peeling face mask but it's more just like I don't know, like it like peels off your like dead skin or any excess things that you have going on. I'm doing a really poor job of explaining it, but this stuff is insane. I would really recommend like go and store it at Sephora. They have like testers of it and you can just put it on your hand and you'll see like the dead skin coming off your hand from just like rubbing it. And then you wash it off and your face instantly looks a lot more refreshed. And then it also looks more alive because you don't have, you know, any dead skin, any flakiness going on. This stuff is really, really good. It is more pricey, but I think it's still really, really good. So I've been on the hunt for a really good moisturizer for about a year now and I was trading things on and off trying to find one that would really work for me and this is the one that I kept coming back to. It is the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Regenerating Cream. Here's what it looks like. They have two different versions. They have the unscented and then they have the scented version. I really didn't find a difference. I used to use the scented version, which has fragrance in it, and this one's fragrance-free. And so I've been trying to cut out fragrance wherever I can, and so this is what I did, even though I do love scented things. Um, you still have, like, it's weird. You have, like, a little bit of, like, a slight coffee undertone to it, but it's not fragrance. So, like, here's what it looks like if you're interested. And the great thing about this is you can get it at the drugstore. It is pricey for the drugstore. It's, like, $25 or something. Um, but then again, compared to all of the other ones I've used, I do really love the Sunday Riley. I don't have it on my hands right now, but that stuff is incredible. Um, however, of course, it is much more expensive than this one, and this is a really great affordable option if you need something that is going to hydrate your skin, but is not going to put up, you know, excess oils and produce pimples or zits. This is really great because when you have dry skin, you are constantly looking for something that is just going to hydrate the skin you know just make it look really really pretty and you know I'm not as much worried about wrinkles right now I am only 17 you know it's never too early to start worrying about them but like it's definitely not a priority so it's nice that this will be helping that's not really the reason I use it though I use it because of how alive it makes my skin feel and it does feel really good it only feels really heavy for about 10 minutes after initially putting on it doesn't necessarily dry down after that point which I like I don't like you know if I'm going to be putting on a moisturizer at night I want it to really do all of the hydrating stuff I want it to keep going throughout the night so I do really like that it doesn't dry down super fast I like that it has this ability to feel a little less heavy after a little bit of a period of time but it's definitely not going to just go away so on my legs I have incredibly dry skin so at night I'm using products that have been prescribed to me from dermatologists and that have medicated type products in them because they are so incredibly dry however in the morning when I want my skin to be moisturized on my legs but I don't want to wear something that's like a super heavy cream this is what I love to go for or even at night when I just don't want to do the time to like apply a really heavy cream this is what I go for it is the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Whip Body Cream it's with hyaluronic acid and is for extra dry to dry skin so here's what it looks like this stuff is amazing it's kind of like a water-based cream I'm not sure if it actually is but that is the consistency and the feel that I kind of get from it I'll show you what the inside looks like it smells really good just like spring and summer and all fun things like that I'll show you it looks I mean it is just incredible and so I'll show you just with my hand or with my finger that's like only a little bit of it and the way that it goes in to your skin is just incredible so here you go and it just like goes away it is super super nice especially if you have dry skin but you don't love the way that heavy creams feel like for me I don't mind it on my face for some reason but when I'm applying it all over my body I'm gonna be you know moving around touching things I don't want a cream that is just going to weigh down and constantly feel like something and that is why I love this so so much in this little container you are getting six point you're getting 6.7 ounces of product, which is a really, really good deal. Again, it's something you can purchase at the drugstore. For the drugstore, it is a little bit more pricey, but when you compare it to, you know, brands at Ulta that are a little more higher end or Sephora brands, you are getting a very good deal, and it works really well at that, too. So this next product, if you don't take any of my other recommendations, this is the one to check out. Whether you get blemishes all the time or just once a month or every few months even, and it doesn't matter what type of blemish it is, whether it's, you know, like that red type or that risen one or one with a little bit of pus in it, a white head, whatever it is, these will do the trick and get rid of it in just one night. And now I will say, you know, you are going to have like a flattened spot left on your skin, but it's not going to be raised. It's not going to have that texture. So it will be easier to cover if you, you know, want to cover it with concealer or whatever, because you know, it's hard when there's texture to cover a blemish like that. And with like an 
a day or two after that, the blemish will actually be gone. These are incredible. These are the Hero Cosmetics Mighty Patches. Here's what they look like. This is the original version, so you're getting 12 millimeter size little patches that you just place over your blemish for the night, like I like to do it before I go to bed. I believe they say, how long are you supposed to leave these on? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's like six maybe six hours, but I just put them on before I go to bed. That's about how long I sleep. I wake up, take it off, and it's like, it's incredible. It'll have this little like white part to it, and that's how you know it really worked. There are some times where it doesn't always work for me, but when, I mean, it won't even feel painful. Like once you take that thing off, you're like, oh my goodness. So I'll show you what the actual patches look like. Just so you know, you are getting 36 patches in a box and they do retail for, I believe, $13 at least at Anthropology, which is where I get them. I know it's kind of random, but they sell them and I go there a lot. So here's what the actual package of patches looks like. It's kind of hard to tell just because I have used it and like the things coming off, but all of these in here I haven't used. And they're just, I mean, just little teeny tiny patches. You put over your blemish and you're ready to go. I highly, 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 like I cannot stress enough, if you have any type of blemish that you get, no matter how often, these will do the trick and get rid of them in no time. In the morning, I don't like to use a lot of skincare on my face just because my skin is drier. I don't need that much product to combat oil or anything, so I really only need a good moisturizer before I do my makeup, which already has, you know, good, healthy properties in it for my skin. I am pretty careful about the products that I use for my base makeup, um, and I can get into that in another video if you guys are interested. But I do like to use a good moisturizer, one that isn't very heavy so it won't mess with my makeup or break it up. This is one I find that works really well with pretty much every base makeup type product I've tried. So it's one that I consistently use. It is the Garnier Skin Active Clearly Brightening Brightening and Smoothing Moisturizer. It has a broad spectrum in it. I think an SPF of 15, so it's not very much. But then again, for me in the winter, I just... I don't use that much. Um, I probably will use the sunscreen in combination with this when we get more into the summer as we're, we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. Um, but this stuff is really great. It just, it smells really good. It feels really light on the skin. It dries down very, very, very nice. And I don't ever find that it's going to mess with my makeup. And it just, you know, adds a little bit of an extra layer to my skin, which is very nice and just moisturize my skin. And I found that for a while I was only using like a uh, primer that had moisturizer in it, which worked, but it was not quite enough. My skin is a little too dry to just use something like that. So I found that when I put this in the mix, it worked great. Just so you guys know, you are getting 2.5 fluid ounces, which is pretty good, especially for a product you can get at the drugstore for this affordable price. I really recommend it if you haven't tried it out. So I actually just ran in my shower and picked up this product because I forgot to originally go get it. This is the St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub. So here's what it looks like. I sometimes use this on my face when I need a really good exfoliator because like I said, that other one is very, very gentle. And sometimes you just need something that's going to be a little bit heavier. But the main thing I use this for is my legs. It does, sometimes I'll use it before I shave and sometimes I'll use it after. It just kind of depends on how dry my legs are and, you know, what I need for shaving. Sometimes I don't want my skin to be too, too smooth when I'm shaving because I find the shave doesn't last very long. But when I use it after or even before, it just does wonders. I find that it really does make my skin so much smoother. And I don't know, I just find that my legs just look so much nicer and fresh and brighter. This does a really good job. I know that's a weird way to use this, but it's just the way I've been using it and it works really well. Alright guys, that about wraps up today's video. If you want more skincare and geared videos, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up so that I can know to do more. If you have any video recommendations, please let me know down below. I love hearing from you guys. I have a few ideas in my head going right now for the next few videos, but I can mix them. I can do whatever you guys want to see because ultimately, I want to produce content that you guys want to see. Um, I hope that, you know, you guys enjoyed this video because I really do, I just, I really appreciate you guys coming out to my channel. It's never going to stop um, sounding rehearsed in my head. Like I always say it, I'm like, you sound so cheesy. But I really do appreciate you guys watching because I love creating content and talking about makeup. And it means so much to have people watching my channel that love learning about makeup and talking about makeup. So thank you guys so much. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to click the little subscribe icon. It's me. And then that way you will be a part of the family. I'd love to have you. If you would like to check out more of my videos, I will have two linked right there and you can just go click them, roll with it. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.